So what's the secret behind the success of Comfort Systems of Virginia, a highly successful HVAC and general contracting company with a woman at the helm? Here with Rhonda Bridgman. She is president and owner of Comfort Systems of Virginia. How are you today, Rhonda? Doing well. How are you? Great. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about what Comfort Systems does. We are a general contracting company who specializes in mechanical HVAC work. Very nice. And you all are located here in the Deep Creek section of Chesapeake, yes. uh, not far from the Gilmerton Bridge. How's that been an advantage for you uh, being centrally located? Well, we are so fortunate to be positioned near the Cavalier Industrial Park and um, the gateway to the rest of Chesapeake. So we feel very fortunate to be in this position. That's great. And how long have you all been in business now? Five years in May. Great. And you are a female owner of a uh, business and you're a member of SWAM, which is Small Women and Minority Owned Businesses? Yes. And uh, can you tell me how you came about being a member of SWAM? Well, um, I am a woman-owned business and um, I fit some of the criteria that you have to um, abide by to be a SWAM-owned business. Um, under $33 million a year in revenues is one of those um, criteria. And then there's some other federal mandated things that you have to um, adhere to, and we do that. So um, we feel fortunate to have that um, opportunity. Now you are a uh, very active member in the community with the chamber and whatnot. How has that helped your business to grow? Well, the Chamber has been a wonderful avenue for our business to meet other company owners and to have access to um, resources that we would have never otherwise known. That's great. Now tell me a little bit about your facility here in Deep Creek. We're kind of busting up the seams, so we're going to move down the street a little ways, still in Deep Creek and still near Cavalier um, and in this area. But we have our own shop. We make our own ductwork in the back. Um, we have a service department that helps us out with our install. And then we really focus on the commercial side of the install. And uh, how many employees do you have working for you? We maintain between 50 and 60 employees. Do you do work within Chesapeake or throughout the whole region? Um, we do work within the whole region um, and even outside somewhat of the region. Um, but we do try to focus on Chesapeake because it's right here at home. And what do you think are the advantages of being located here in Chesapeake in the heart of Hampton Roads? Well, I think that Chesapeake's leadership is um, geared towards small business and they understand that to have a successful community that you really have to have a strong leadership that helps the small business people. And how being a small business have you guys fared during the tough economy? Obviously you said so you're busting at the seams about to move, obviously things have been going well. How have you been able to accomplish that? Well, we, we try to be very focused on being conservative and taking on things that are smart decisions for us as a company. Well, that's great. Now, are there any projects uh, that the folks at home might know that you've worked on? Any prominent buildings in the area? Um, well, we've done several schools in the city of Chesapeake, which we're very fortunate to have done and have been great projects. Last summer we did BM Williams, and this summer we're working on um, some of the ones that you might know in Chesapeake would be Great Bridge, um, Western Branch Primary, and Greenbrier Primary. So, Rhonda, you're not the typical person you'd see uh, at the head of a HVAC company. How did you get into this? Well, I started um, small. I started by general contracting and building homes on my own. And then as the residential market was not um, flourishing, I decided to make a change. And, and this just seemed like a field in an industry that I could really excel at. So Rhonda, I couldn't help but notice that you have women working right alongside the men out in the shop. That's mm -hmm. kind of unique. Yes, as a matter of fact, you mentioned that it's odd to have a woman in this industry, but in fact, we have many women working here that help us out on a daily basis. Mary in the back in the shop is a wonder, wonderful shop mechanic and um, she really knows her stuff. That's really interesting to hear that women are getting into this industry. And speaking of getting into the industry, now that you guys are expanding a bit, is there opportunities for employment here? Absolutely, especially right now we're getting ready to start our busiest time of the season as we discussed and um, we're always looking for great people who want to make um, a, a, a place uh, for a career in this industry. That's wonderful. Now, what does it take to work in the HVAC industry? I know there's all kinds of engineers and contractors. What sort of uh, certifications or licenses do you need? 
Well, I mean, you can start in this industry as a helper alongside another mechanic. Um, the next step is a journeyman's. You work to get that. And then you go on from your journeyman's to your master's. Um, there's several masters that we have here. We currently have a, uh, an electrical master. We have HVAC master. We also have a plumbing master here and um, a Class A contractor. Well, that's great. So uh, you guys heard it first here. They're hiring. So if people want to get in touch, how can they find you guys? They can call us at 558-6007, or they can check us out on the web. Um, and you can also fill out an application from the website, or you can call and talk to Ashley Shelburne, and she handles our human resources. Well, great. Well, thank you so much, Rhonda, for taking the time and showing us your shop here in Deep Creek. Thank you.